People who pay attention to military affairs may have noticed that, despite the loud slogans of the Americans and laser weapons, they have not achieved a dominant position. In the past year, the Saudi army has achieved significant gains with laser weapons, changing its previous image on the battlefield. The laser weapon used by Saudi Arabia is only a foreign trade product of a Chinese company, and compared with China's low-key approach, the Americans' rhetoric is more provocative, claiming that China has deployed a laser weapon specifically for war, the death ray. According to their description, the range of death ray reaches 30,000 kilometers and can sink a nuclear submarine in one minute. So, what is the actual situation? What is the current strength of China's laser weapons? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. Do you think that laser weapons have only become popular in recent years? Actually, in China alone, laser weapons have already undergone more than 60 years of development. The theoretical research on lasers by humans began in 1917. That year, Einstein proposed the theory of interaction between light and matter, predicting the existence of lasers from a microscopic level. In May 1960, the American Theodore Maimon successfully manufactured the first laser beam in human history. Later, he also developed the first ruby laser. Soviet scientists were naturally unwilling to fall behind the United States and invented another type of laser, the laser diode, in the same year. However, since the day when lasers were created, the research focus of various countries on lasers has been in the military field. At that time, most Chinese people still did not know what lasers were. The few who knew about it called it death light. In the 1980s, various countries introduced technology development plans, the most famous of which was the Reagan administration's Star Wars program. The Star Wars program was actually an anti-missile and anti-satellite program, including directed energy weapons such as laser weapons, and this all-powerful weapon once again entered people's vision. At this time, China's explosive technological development was also brewing. On March 3, 1986, under the instruction of Deng Xiaoping, the High-Tech Research and Development Plan outline was approved, which is the famous 863 plan. The 863 plan was divided into seven areas, among which advanced defense technology refers to laser technology. In the face of a seemingly empty topic, experts were initially unsure where to start and had to invite the old scientist Zhu Guanya to explain to them. Instead of pointing out the direction, Zhu Guanya told the famous Greek story of the Achilles heel. The United States has been China's biggest imaginary enemy since the 1980s, and it was predicted that the future American military would be a highly technologically advanced and powerful army. Does such an army have any weaknesses? Not necessarily. In the future, they will rely heavily on satellites and navigation. As long as those American satellites can be knocked down, the USA will be afraid. Well, Mr. Zhu Guanya's words hit the nail on the head. Today's America is indeed like this, and experts have also found a research direction. In the following 20 years, few people in China paid attention to research in the field of laser weapons. When the world once again focused on laser weapons, China had already taken the lead in the world. So, after so many years, what achievements have the Chinese made in the field of laser weapons? In 2006, The U.S. military magazine Defense News complained that in recent years, whenever U.S. reconnaissance satellites flew over China, they would be accurately attacked by laser weapons from mainland China, making the satellites unable to operate normally. The world's attention then focused on China's laser weapons. In 2011, the Xinguang-3 achieved its first beam of light, and in 2015, the Xinguang-3 was completed. Although official data has not been released, it is not difficult to infer from the characteristics of laser that the Xinguang-3 already has the ability to destroy satellites and missiles from 3,000 kilometers away. Around 2010, the next generation of Xinguang-4 was already under development, and it will have the energy to trigger nuclear fusion. The project started in 2017, and the launch of the Xinguang-4 is imminent. It should be noted that in the descriptions of the government and research institutions, the products of these large-scale laser projects are laser devices rather than laser weapons, and from Xinguang I to Xinguang IV, they were not specifically developed for warfare. In peacetime, they are top research equipment and play an important role in research on microparticles, controllable nuclear fusion, and other fields. However, it cannot be denied that the powerful energy they possess can be fully applied to national defense. 
The Achilles heel that Mr. Zhu Guanya mentioned is already under China's control. At the 2017 Abu Dhabi Defense Exhibition, a low-altitude air defense system from China Poly Group attracted everyone's attention. Its name is Silent Hunter, and its weapon is laser. The rated output power of the Silent Hunter is 30 kilowatts, but it is usually used between 30 to 100 kilowatts. At a distance of 800 meters, it can easily melt a steel plate with a thickness of 10 millimeters. Moreover, the Silent Hunter exhibited by Poly Group is its vehicle-mounted model. Traditional vehicle-mounted air defense systems, including laser air defense systems from various countries in the past, require a large number of vehicles and equipment, including power generation vehicles, command vehicles, radar vehicles, etc. During deployment, the vehicles need to be arranged in a certain position and connected and debugged with each other, with high terrain requirements and a tedious process. The Silent Hunter integrates the power generation system, energy storage system, and optoelectronic tracking system into one vehicle, which can be deployed anywhere and ready to fight at any time. Even if detected by the enemy, the laser device can be retracted into the vehicle and the position can be changed, with strong survivability and adaptability. Low-altitude drones have always been a headache for the defending side, as their small size and low altitude make them difficult to detect and track. Even if they can be locked onto, using expensive air defense missiles to take down a drone that only costs a few hundred yuan is not cost-effective. However, the Silent Hunter system has perfectly solved these two problems. Although a range of 4 kilometers may not seem very far, it is more than enough for drones. In addition, China's radar, specially developed for anti-drone purposes, can extend the detection range up to 20 kilometers, giving the Silent Hunter ample reaction time. Moreover, the cost of using the Silent Hunter is very low, with the cost of taking down a drone being only 6 yuan. With a targeting time of 6 seconds and a cost of 6 yuan to bring down a drone, this is an incomparable advantage. The Saudi Arabian military has been engaged in a constant struggle against the Houthi militants and has suffered greatly from drone attacks. Therefore, when the Silent Hunter was introduced, it immediately caught their attention and a purchase agreement was signed between the two countries. This cooperation soon led to the creation of a historic laser weapon. In March 2022, Saudi Arabia announced that they had taken down 13 drones, and the Silent Hunter air defense system was responsible for this achievement. This was the first time that a laser weapon had achieved such results on a global scale, and it was an impressive achievement for its first mission. In fact, China had already used laser weapons prior to this. In February 2020, the Chinese Navy was conducting routine military exercises in the Pacific when a US P-8A anti-submarine aircraft secretly flew into the exercise area to spy. As a result, the aircraft was illuminated by the laser of the Type 052D Hohot destroyer. In February 2022, an Australian military aircraft ignored international laws and maliciously followed a Chinese warship, even dropping sonar buoys in the process, but was soon driven away by a shipborne laser weapon. These two confrontations show that China not only has land-based anti-drone laser weapons, but also has mature technology for using lasers to attack large aircraft, with various platforms and attack methods. In fact, from anti-satellite lasers and laser air defense systems to individual laser guns, China is no less advanced than other countries in the field of laser weapons. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.